Here is an explanation for the answer to final exam question number two in Electronics Demystified, second edition. If you have the printed book, the second edition, you'll find question number two in the final exam on page 416. We're talking about a coil of wire with 50 turns in it. And we're driving 300 milliampers through that coil, 300 milliampers of current. And we want to know what the magnetomotive force produced by this coil is. Well, magnetomotive force can be calculated in terms of the number of turns in the coil times the number of amperes of current going through. Well, 300 milliampers is 300 one thousandths of an ampere or 0 0.300 amperes. So 50 times 0 0.300 equals 15, well we're given two significant figures here, three significant figures here, so we have 15 ampere turns. 50 times 0.3 is 15 ampere turns, and that corresponds to choice B. The interesting thing about a coil like this, or any coil, 50 turns and 300 milliamps, we're not told the dimensions of the coil in terms of how, what its diameter is, what its length is, anything. We're not told anything except that it has 50 turns and 0 .300 amps. The magnetomotive force does not depend on the diameter of the coil or on how elongated it is. It only depends on the number of turns and the current through it. Again, the answer here is B.